had already tried to film this video like once about an hour ago. My hair was looking good, like I actually did it. Then I had to fill out student loan applications and I think the stress of that just like flattened my hair completely. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a thrift haul. Um, you will see in my vlog that is going up after this video um, some clips of me thrifting um, with my friend Reagan and I'm definitely debating doing like a follow me around thrifting thing um, but I'm still kind of shy about whipping out a camera in public because uh, my social skills already aren't that great and like whipping a camera out makes me a lot more anxious than it should but anyways we went thrifting and also so I only paid for like a couple of the items because I actually um, went to Buffalo Exchange in another shop like Buffalo Exchange which, which is like a local one and I sold a bunch of clothes slash like shoes and stuff and so I got like in total from both stores like $90 store credit so yeah like I did not pay for like half of this stuff which is amazing I'm never sleeping on Buffalo Exchange ever again um, also the setup is clearly different it is like 8 o'clock at night and so there's not natural lighting but I actually like this background a lot so yeah let me know what you think because I kind of like this location better I feel like this just looks a little bit like neater and like more interesting to the eye or whatever also what are my hands doing I don't know um, so I'm gonna start with the most disappointing item um, these are from the second store that's like Buffalo Exchange and they are just mud jeans um, and I had to cut the security tag off of them, which already frustrated the crap out of me. Um, but I got them home, and I had been, like, eyeballing these. I'm like, they're totally gonna fit. Like, I could tell. They don't fit over my hips, which is really annoying. So I can't even try them on to show you guys. But they were, like, perfect little, like, boyfriend jeans. And I was so stoked because I love, like, the rips on them, how they look. Um, they actually look kind of home done, almost with like how they're fraying and stuff and like the length looked good and I was like I'm gonna rock that with like I was wearing my Marilyn Manson t-shirt yesterday I was like this is a look but they did not end up fitting I they were $12.50 but uh like I said I had store credit so I didn't end up paying for them so I'm not too upset but still I'm a little bit bummed about these okay so I'm gonna put all of this is like exciting to me so when I say it's like the most exciting item I mean like I don't know, but this is arguably the most exciting item, and it's at the top of the bag, and that would be this marvelous dress, which was originally $23.50, but I basically got it for free, and it is like a little Wednesday Adams kind of dress, but it has a kitty cat. It has a kitty cat on the collar, and I love it. Like, I've been looking for a little, like, Wednesday Adams like dress for the longest time, and to find one and get it for, like, free, basically, and have, like a cat on the collar it's pretty great um it is like I don't know it does fit a little tighter than I would have liked uh, I definitely wanted more of like a skater dress but um, I really really like this and I think it's gonna look so cute with so many different yeah. things you'll see this in a clip uh, I had like I was just trying to use up like the 66 at Buffalo Exchange and so uh, I got some fishnet tights and I like these because they're like the bigger pattern one um, which are my favorite and yeah I just wanted some fishnet tights because I haven't had them in a couple years. Okay so I actually forgot I got this because like my total rang up to like be lower and they actually ended up giving me cash back. But I guess I did get this, um, slash I forgot about it, slash maybe it was just less expensive than I thought. It was originally $13.50, but it was on sale, so I think it was like 50% off. Just a soft black shirt with one of those like cutouts right here. Look nice, but you're not like super, super dressed up. So uh, yeah, and it was, it's super, super soft and uh, you can wear it with anything and make it look a little bit nicer. So yeah, they have a ton of shirts like the one I'm wearing right now, which I wear way too much in these videos because like I said, they look nice, but they're comfortable. Um, and shirts like this, and I have another one that I've hauled that has like one of the little designs like this. So if you have been looking for those, go check there for sure. Another shirt that is inside out, but I'm so happy I found and it was $13. Um, it is a fishnet shirt, and it is a crop top, and it has like a little, my jasmine and my Velma fell, <laughs> oh well, but um, it has like a little, you know, like the front bit is, has a panel 
so it's not as see-through and then the back bit does not but I probably would not wear this out as is like I actually got it to layer underneath shirts because I watched Sarah Hawkinson here on YouTube and she hauled like one of these like fishnet mesh shirt things and put it underneath a Marilyn Manson shirt and I was just like that's gonna be me that's me um, so from the same place I got the jeans I got two other items of clothing um, which like I said it's like a Buffalo Exchange kind of store but it's local so I don't want to give the name out um, but I got a basic black skirt which is a size large and it's from H&M H&M sizing is so weird don't even get me started but it's just a basic black skater skirt which I did not have and it has a zipper on the back which is nice um, and yeah I'm pretty excited this doesn't look like it's going to be too short because there are some H&M skirts that I swear are so short on me. Like, yes, I have a butt, but I'm also 5'2"-ish. Like, I'm pretty short. <laughs> so if something's short on me, I'm like, how is this going to fit somebody who is like 5'6"? Or even like an inch taller than me. Anyways, I'm really excited about this, which seems super basic, but I like it. And I've been looking for a basic black skirt like this forever because I think they just look good with everything including just plain t-shirts okay and then I got a t-shirt which I also had to cut a hole in because they did not cut the security tag out again um did I mention that was 850 by the way okay whatever I'm like saying prices sometimes and not saying other prices but yeah I just those they still have the tags on them and stuff but look you can see a little hole you can see it um, this is from the brand Canvas, um, it is a large, it was in the men's section, and it's just this, like, really aesthetically pleasing, like, kind of cream color, and it has these, like, pretty flowers, and it says, make America flowers again. That makes no grammatical sense, but it's so, like, aesthetically pleasing, and it actually reminds me of one of my friend's tattoos, which I think is partially why I got it. I love their tattoo so much, but it has just, like, it's just in Regan's words and I've already said it it's just very aesthetically pleasing to the eye and I really like the off-white color because I feel like it won't stain as bad um yeah so I'm just gonna like sew the little hole I had to make shut I'm not too concerned about that but I think that'll just look really cool underneath a flannel or something so I just discovered that this has a pretty big hole <laughs> near the bottom which I did not notice let me try and find it again uh yes can you see it? I can't really patch that. I don't really mind my clothes to be like really holy. But it's just a basic black cardigan and I didn't have one. It has like a little longer than three quarter length sleeves which is good because sweaters always have like super long arms on me because I have small arms. Like we have met, supposedly your wingspan is supposed to be like your height and mine is like five inches shorter than my height. So uh, I have really tiny little T-Rex arms. So yeah, and it's pretty light, so I could wear it like when it's warmer out in the fall, like when it's transitioning to fall, slash transi transitioning into summer next year. So yeah, this is just like a really good basic. And another sweater. This is a little bit heavier and this is a little bit longer. Um, and somebody clearly tried it on because they rolled up the sleeves, but it's just this like, what's the, the word? The word is beige. The word is beige. It's just a beige cardigan, pretty thick. Uh, I'll probably wear all the sleeves and leave them like this. Uh, does it have pockets? It does not. But yeah, you just can't go wrong with like a sweater, leggings, and like a cool shirt. And uh, I liked the color for some reason. Like I said, I'm not into white, but I'm like into like the beiges and like the creams kind of. So sweater from Goodwill. Even though I have two more sweater things like to show you but uh, I couldn't leave this behind because my goal was to wear this so much that my boyfriend slash my parents threatened to throw it away um, I got a gray sweatshirt that has two African parrots on it and they're just chilling like why wouldn't I want this why wouldn't I pay money for this like this is this is something they'd sell for like ridiculously expensive on like Urban Outfitters or something or they'd sell it at Forever 21 and put like a slogan on the back but it is lit I love it like <laughs> we went to the zoo the other day and saw African gray parrots and I've been obsessed with birdies ever since I really want a bird we also fed the lorikeets and one landed on me so I'm really feeling like emotional connections to birds lately these are probably the most exciting thing I got from Goodwill they are exactly my size they fit perfectly um, I have a lot of like Chelsea boots slash booties but I don't have a black pair surprisingly other than my Doc Martens and these are gorgeous they have silver buckles which I wear a lot of silver even though my skin is warm toned I don't know 
maybe I'm more neutral. I just like how silver looks better on me, um, but holy crap, they have like a little bit of a heel. They're eights and they fit perfectly. They may be real leather. They don't have a brand on the inside, but oh, oh, they have like little zips so you don't even have to like squeeze your little foot in there and use the buckles. I'm super excited to style these. These are like the perfect motorcycle boots, honestly. And then we went to one more thrift store, which is like a local one, and it's a really cool local one. Um, people who are subscribed to, like, know me in real life probably have heard of it. They actually donate um, a lot of their proceeds to, like, HIV testing and AIDS research and stuff like that. It's a really cool place. Um, but I got two more things there. I got a gray cardigan, which this one has pockets. It's just a basic gray cardigan. Um, it was in the medium section, so always like dig through the sections that like are maybe a size smaller because people will like put your size back there by mistake or something. But yeah, it's just a basic gray cardigan, but I just love cardigans so much. And this one is definitely not as long. And because the sleeves kind of have like that ribbing detail, they're not like super, super long. They hit me at a nice like, like right there. They hit me at a nice place, so I'm excited about that. And then this is one of the things I am most excited about. This was actually considered a medium, but I put it on and it fits great. And does it still, yeah, it still has tags on it. So it is a woven cardigan in rust, which is a beautiful burnt orange color. And it is originally from Forever 21. And oh, the color, you guys, I love this color so much. And oh, I just love it. And it's like really airy and pretty and um, I wear like a series of about three colors and that's mustard yellow, khaki green, and like this. Um, but yeah, it's so soft. It's still got the tag on it, which is amazing. Um, it's in really good shape. Um, I don't know if I can like wash it regularly though. It's kind of like one of those kimonos that were in fashion for a while, but I'm really, really excited to style this. Like, oh, I want it on my body and it's so soft too. So if you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up and tell me if you want to see more thrift hauls. My channel first started when I was like a freshman in high school and it was like founded on thrift hauls and stuff. So I kind of want to bring it back because I do like doing that and I also get excited watching them because I'm like, I want to, I just get in the mood to go thrifting, you know? Also, um, tell me what you think of the background and if you like it. Um, I think this looks like less distracting and it just looks more pleasing than what I was doing um, and tell me what you think of the lighting all that good stuff um, if you liked this video feel free to subscribe so you can be notified whenever I upload new content and yeah I trying to upload every Sunday and Wednesday but it is getting a little difficult so I'm like pre-filming because like I'm helping my boyfriend move this weekend and then like two weeks after that I move there's just like lots of stuff going on in my life so yes um cool beans so I'm gonna go I hope you guys have a good day whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys soon bye guys mm -hmm.